Welcome to the 14th part of my case web build in Honda Fate or Honda CRD in which we will be covering the wiring of these main two grip the Civic SI101 grip and Civic Aura Fit 124 grip okay so let's start the wiring okay I hope I am not <laughs> making this too difficult for you people but it is what it is man and I've been, uh, I bet this is the last thing which is slightly difficult and from here onward it will be getting easier and easier, easier okay so let's get to it I have noted that there is a lot of variation of wiring between the CRD ZF1, ZF2 similarly between the CRD 2013 and 14 model and onward so that's why I and similarly between Honda Fit 2nd gen and 3rd gen okay the GE and GK1, GK5 etc. So I will be showing a general method how to approach this wiring okay. So before you start the wiring you need to understand the concept of it because you will not find the wiring diagram of C101 plug or CRZ Honda Fit 124 plug on the net okay. I have searched I have not found trust me you have to understand this episode okay otherwise the wiring will be very difficult and this is the thing which companies make harnesses for okay these two plugs when they made together that is the harness they are selling you the K series harness okay because I, I told you in previous episode this wiring you have to do yourself okay so all that harness does is thus make them together okay made them together so it is very easy if you understand the concept the concept is Honda made this detachable because of course if you have to remove the engine you just unplug these uh, grips and engine is out otherwise you have to unplug uh, 20 or 25 sensors to take the engine out oh? so this is more feasible so most of the sensor the inputs are coming through the B and the C grips so why does this grip need, need it because this is needed because some sensors need ignition current from the body side okay for example the driver ignition switch is inside okay so some uh, sensor for example ignition coil injector these need current to come from inside similarly some inputs need to be go inside okay from here for example when you put the car in reverse gear the reverse light the back camera they are from on that side okay so that why those wires will be going inside through this switch similarly the oxygen sensor wire will be going from here and there is one uh, light which is coming from uh, one wire which comes from alternator that goes inside and then inside uh, the cabin because uh, on the uh, dash when you see you turn off the, on the ignition there is a battery signal sign okay the red one that when you start the car that turns off that means your alternator is working so we uh, need to find out that wire and route it inside similarly there is a wire which triggers the your electronic shorter body relay inside that wire is going inside so you see some wires need to go inside and some wires for example which will take current from inside to special sensors so this is very easy to figure out because all the things are right in front of you okay so i suggest you do this step all you need is to do is take a plain paper and a pen and you will uh, draw a diagram of this plug as you uh, seem suitable okay I will show you so and a voltmeter of course to check the continuity where which wire is leading so that's it for and plus I told you the crocodile clamps and the some of the needles that are very helpful because they go inside okay and because most of the sensors wire are going in P and C plugs so you have to have the wiring of the uh, pin outs of the B and C plug of the ECU you are using now I provided that in previous episode I will also again uh, drop the link in the description I will sort out one to two wires for you and rest you will know how the procedure works so labeling is must okay any of the masking tape and the ball point and you should label the wire which wire is going where now we'll be drawing the diagram this you can easily do on a nice coffee table drinking coffee and figuring out with a voltmeter pen and a paper okay that would be nice when the all the wiring is out of the car and for this grip this this you have to do when uh, of course this grip is inside the car this belongs to the chassis right here so this you have to do in the car and strain your back but that will be worth it no problem so let's uh, start the wiring of this C101 let's recognize what wires are going in and what are going out just draw the grip like this plastic is on this side and we are looking the grip 
from the wire side harness okay so let me uh, uh, show you by checking one to two wires okay so i will switch it to the buzzer mode okay this one so and then i will touch that so that these are working okay let me check the injector wire first i have inserted that here and so it's this wire okay this one so i will mark it as injector okay injectors okay this injector power i will be telling you when uh, what to do this with similarly so after after uh, figuring out all the wires you will have like this diagram this is for the civic 101 S si 101 grip and there is this reverse camera light and let me show you here is the grip of the reverse light okay so reverse uh, switch so that when you uh, go into the reverse gear the uh, that uh, reverse camera and the reverse light will turn on okay uh, green white okay so i inserted one needle here attach the voltmeter here and let me check here there is this wire okay the green white wire let me touch that okay you see so here the colors help a lot so that i labeled it reverse camera okay so it just make your own diagram and uh, make this plastic as your reference okay i kept the plastic on the left side and the ground are on the above side these are the grounds okay brown yellow ones and these are just leading to here okay look at that the brown yellow one so this is very dead away this is the <coughs> g101 ground this is very important ground i will tell you when we do the wiring of the oxygen sensor so after you figure out all the wires okay this will be looking like this okay and when you trace a wire to these grips okay these b and c grips <coughs> write the numbers too okay for example this is leading to c27 this is leading to a27 that will be more easy so now we will figure out which wiring is in this grip very important thing is that initially this uh, c124 grip that does not look like this okay so don't get confused initially that will be tucked away like that okay so this is the engine side which is uh, um, hidden by this plastic and this is the uh, your chassis side so if i remove that plastic this is how the engine uh, side will look like and uh, don't bother the colors okay and this is the hybrid one and this is the engine one okay so again this is how this is actually the engine side is the male side okay this is how the engine side looks this is the male opposite of a c124 plug this is how the chassis uh, grip look like in my honda fit this is the hybrid extension this is the main which we'll be using we will be not wiring this hybrid thing okay because the hybrid system is out now this is how it looked okay in the my honda fit and this is right now and for uh, uh, checking this grip because sometime the wires are going inside the car so to change the uh, to check the continuity you will have to find a, a long wire okay which can be gone inside the car okay right now i am checking the obd2 wire ground which is missing from here okay so this brown wire this i have attached one terminal to this and put it on the buzzer mode so that's why i was telling you if you are working alone the buzzer is very important now i will uh, go inside the other terminal attached to the my extended wire okay this wire is going all the way inside now here is my obd2 port okay i have extracted this from here and now because this was missing one ground okay four and five are the ground one is chassis ground and one is ecg ground so it was missing one ground ecg ground so i was checking this is my uh, needle attached to this wire and now i will be inserting that and showing you how important that is okay the buzzer okay you see 
बिकॉज वन वॉज मिसिंग बिकॉज आई डिट चेक दैट वायर एंड आई विलेबल इट नाउ बिकॉज यू शुड नॉट मिस दैट सो वाइल चेकिंग फिगरिंग आउट द सी आर वी और फिट वन ट्वेंटी फोर ग्रेप समाइम यू नीड अ लॉन्गर वायर टू गो इन साइड ओके दिस इज द बजर मॉड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सो नाउ वी हैव फिगर आउट दैट दिस इज द नाउ आई विल लेबल इट दिस इज ओबीटी टू ग्राउंड this one is this brown the thin wire o b d 2 ground so now i have checked almost all them uh, they, this one is so this yellow thick one is switched power board then brown thick one this is also a switched power source when you turn on the ignition the power comes in those wires okay you you need this power source the switched ones okay and plus this above yellow and this also contain the switched power source okay so we will be needing those three then there is the alternator i will tell you which wire you will join this then we will be not using this pink wire okay this is i have crossed and then this green wire we will also not be using that and then this is the uh, pink color okay this is dark pink okay let me put it here the dark pink oh dark pink need not dark pink okay so this is slightly darker color this is slightly lighter color so we'll this is again the reverse locker solenoid so it is your choice if you are using the 6 bit transmission then we will be using that then this is the ground again no needed i should cross that okay and this again this wire no needed cross it then this is again the starter relay bypass that blue wire i told you that is required in hash spot procedure okay but we will not be using that so i will be crossing that okay i told you that clutch depressing mechanism okay so that is that blue wire we will not be using that then there is <clears throat> thin brown wire this is we will not be crossing that we will be using that this will just we will need need to give it a ground okay i will tell you and there is a lot of ground here okay and a side plug you see all these these uh, uh, brown yellow these are our ground so from here uh, there is only one wire because i don't don't need so much ground so i'll be joining this wire to my this brown uh, brown wire which obd2 goes so that will solve the problem of missing the ground in obd2 port and the scanner not reading properly okay the obd2 scanner the map uploading etc etc then there is this uh, uh, thick uh, ferrosi color light ferrosi color that is the drive by wire very important wire and i will be telling you where you will join that this cover the wire c124 grip of the honda crd zf1 and similarly you can feel easily figure out uh, on your honda fate or whatever uh, you are doing it okay it's very easy to figure out thing along with this grip crd uh, which is hybrid there is something a small extension grip okay looking like this this was my honda fit hybrid and this is the grips which looks in crd okay so uh, this is not needed anymore because uh, we have removed the hybrid system so don't worry about wiring of this grip we just need to wire uh, c124 grip okay this was right here right here i cut it out and uh, replaced it with the SI type uh, uh, grip from the junk shot